All right, welcome back to our pseudo shanty town in Red Dead Redemption 2. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tetra Ninja, and we are picking up exactly where we left off from part one. Gave you guys a full two hours to get as well deep into the game. I said at the end of the last video that it was kind of slow to start, so I'm hoping that things kind of just pick up now. Got old Milky here. You can command your horse to stay, flee. Ah! I see. Still miss the old war horse. Let's go talk to Uncle. The drunk. Where is he? There he is. Uncle! So it looks like we have a an option here of doing three separate things, so... We'll see what this guy's all about. Kick him! Kick him! Ow, ow. <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. I don't know what this is and where it's leading to, but it feels super sketchy. And I have a feeling this will not be the first time that I have these thoughts. So. Lady, a song. My ears. My ears, they are bleeding. Am I gonna get mugged? I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? We breaking in horses? All right. I can do that. Do I need my horse? Leading. Call me the horse whisperer. Can we go a little faster though? Imagine like a train just came out of nowhere and smoked me. <laughs> We're such a nice person. Hopefully this pays off in the future. Imagine he drew on me. Here, Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. 
Gonna pay my wagon. Gonna pay me <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, <you> did. <laughs> I appreciate a man of honesty. Ooh. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work she's a society lady now go left here down the main street there's always on the right sure you can pick up some bounties there arthur heaven forbid you put your head on the line <laughs> yeah, that's a young man's game <laughs> Ooh, yes we can get up to some mischief here all right just remember keep a low profile Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. You got what? issues you with looking me? for trouble? All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> with pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. <laughs> I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. Gonna use old face paint, cause the wood is pine. Man, I was holding on to that one forever. <laughs> Jesus, wouldn't let me finish. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Hmm. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Horse care. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Wow. It's an interesting way to do the uh, shop system. What kind of clothing do we have? Buy new hats. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. I feel like yep. this is, this That's is too, fine whiskey. too early in the game right now to be blowing out money on Let's go wait for them outside. aesthetic items. What are these provisions? Dry goods. Ground coffee. Okay, I'll buy one coffee. <laughs> All the best, fellers. I need to s save my money. Oh, 
Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Drunk as a skunk. I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Pimp to the rescue! You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care! Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Crash him. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. 2B? Or not 2B? No trouble now, please. Felt like, that sounded like LA Noir music. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Still think you're tough? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. I hope, uh, okay. okay up there. Keep investigating. I will. <laughs> Everything's a hustle in this game. Man, he beat the shit out of her. After you. Holy crap. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Please. Please. Go on, get him. Just on it. Come on. Stay away from me. Get back here. Right no there. one likes a snitch. I gotta shoot him outside the town. Oh, you know too much. What the heck? Oh, I remember. I aim first, then enter the RV. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. You have to help me. Help me. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. My hands are... All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Pick and examine. Temporary horse. Six percent of the story already. Jesus. Okay, let's go back into town. You could probably fast travel. This is just a temporary horse. It's not my horse. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. You really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Look out. We don't care either. Welcome back. I returned the horse. Okay, don't run around with a gun in your hands, please. That's not how we make friends here. Sir. Hey, look out. What the hell is wrong with you? Javier La Escuela. Hey! Oh, Arthur! Arthur, come here! Come here! Come over here! I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest Teak Mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy. Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch easy, you? Huh? Oh, and we have our bar fight. 
I'm going to find a partner. Grab your partner around and my hat! Oh yeah, grapple. Oh my god. This guy. You do MMA or something? Holy shit. My health. Punch him. You. Jesus. This guy likes me too much. Get off my back. Trying. Trying. This man is very large. Harder than I thought. Yeah, I got this son of a bitch. You must be a village idiot, huh? Uh, ow! Whiffing on punches. Maybe I'm not supposed to win this. He is a very big man. Wow. Come on. I hope you got more than that. Jab. Yeah, sidestep. Come on. Finally. Beat him. Down. Don't get up. Jason was the better Stop. Power Ranger. Stop. Please. Please. I beg you. Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. 
It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> <laughs> Clean enough, right? Right? Oh my god. Let's take a look at the map. What's with the question mark? The question mark is intriguing me. I must know. Speak to the stranger in the area. Give me a dime. Give me something. In the liquor stall? Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's whoa, whoa, Saloon whoa, 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 whoa. 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Bounty hunter. You Blue water marsh. Flip. Put away, I guess. Uh-huh. Okay, good. So I got added to my map. She's in Blue Water Marsh. And I am no... Oh, wait. Down there. Okay, there's something down there. Reverend Swanson. 
Let's go down here. At a waypoint. Most people would go to the collection. Not again. Of missions. But I kind of want to see the open world. Damn, horse. Come on, horse. Out of whistling range. I gotta bond more with it to increase the whistling range. There he is. Wow, dude. Killing me. Killing the smalls. Okay, my, well, my horse is probably at the camp, so. Running out of stamina. The heck is going on down here? Shoot him down. Gross. I thought I can maybe loot that body, but guess not. I should have sold a horse. Mm -hmm. Look at that stamina. Keep sprinting. Get that cardio in, boys. Get in. Load. For Christ's sake. Still? Wow. Come on. There you are. Finally. Jesus.